Hey, good morning, guys. I think I just saw our new coach arriving here at Litson RV. Let's go take a look and see if it's ours. You can see all these guys are, uh, uh, you know, changing coaches. Uh, you know, they traded in one and bought another and they're moving, uh, moving, I guess, uh, changing houses. So we're gonna go over here. It's a really pretty journey right there. And I believe that Forza sitting right there that just arrived is ours. Maybe. It might be ours. I'm pretty sure that's our Forza. I think that's our Forza. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Yes, brown leather interior. And the Litston sold signs that were on it out there at the uh, rally grounds. This is our Forza. Yay, it's here. So this is really, really exciting. so very exciting I'm so overwhelmed is the word because uh, if you knew the humble beginnings that I come from you'd probably better understand why I feel so overwhelmed about buying such an expensive motorhome um, it's kind of hard to explain but and uh, here comes Reed with the key <laughs> this is our sales guy he's taking great care of us here at Litson his name is Reed if you ever come here to Litson I highly recommend that you speak to him first uh, let me take you in and show you what uh, see this brown leather interior now we could have been gone days ago with one just like this that has a uh, forest green kind of leather couches and stuff. But Maria was not having it. She didn't want that. She wanted the brown. So here we are with the brown. Uh, this is what it looks like closed up. All the slides are in. And you can see that uh, they've got all the furniture covered in plastic and uh, just arrived from uh, Winnebago their uh, pre-delivery inspection and I'm going to go ahead and show you the price now obviously that's uh, you know retail and uh, that's not what we paid uh, that's not how much we have financed but um, that is the MSRP and queen bed uh, we wanted the queen bed because we wanted the nightstands if you have the king bed there's not enough room for the bigger nightstands back there so and we got uh, you know some fine art <laughs> well, did the camera see that oh yeah there's our fine art check it out <laughs> exit window back here is much bigger much bigger and I'm pretty happy about that because uh, if there's ever a fire in this sucker I want to be able to get out and 
stack washer and dryer I know you probably can't see it very well because it's dark in here but trust me that's a stack washer and dryer and a residential fridge and all that I'll give you a good tour of this once we uh, have it and uh, you know we're getting everything set up in it and all but uh, you know this is what it looks like closed up let me just show you guys got a recliner boy it's really nice I don't think I mentioned in the uh, Freightliner when I did the video showing you the Freightliner chassis that uh, you know it has the six-speed Allison transmission in it auto leveling you know all the stuff that diesels have and, uh, really nice got all these MCD shades roller shades glide up and down And again, much better uh, you know, um, tour once we take possession or take delivery. The combined weight of occupants and cargo should never exceed 4,477 pounds. That's a whole bunch of weight. Full load of water equals 783 pounds so subtract 783 from 4477 and that's how much passenger and cargo weight we can load into this sucker and trust me it's a heck of a lot more than we could carry in Boone the sightseer that we're trading in uh, several people have asked me about uh, am I going to add solar to this one Guys, it's going to be even easier to add solar to this than it was to the sightseer. And it looks like these cargo bays are open. I'll show you why. Okay, we've got these four batteries here. And uh, you guys have heard me talk about this before. If a battery has uh, a cold cranking amp rating on it, which these... Um, <clears throat> premium marine RV deep cycle batteries have it is not a real uh, solar battery it's pretty much a starting battery but that's what they've got in them four of them 12 volts uh, and it's the inverter is a magnum and its whole house it runs everything except the air conditioners uh, this is where I will be adding solar charge controller and the panels that I use will be the panels that I can set away from the coach out in the sun uh, and the reason I'm going to do it that way is because the Winnebago fiberglass roof has a 10-year warranty and uh, I don't intend to put any holes in it um, that I, if I can avoid it So, uh, yeah, pretty awesome. And, uh, got the door locks and nice big entry door. And when, uh, when you're sitting in this, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but this slides out and up and makes a, you know, a floor for the passenger, for the passenger's feet. And, uh, the delay in getting this coach was all about those steps uh, they got in a set of step uh, a batch of steps that had a problem and they were going in and out on their own and uh, that's what delayed us quickie uh, yesterday morning quick the quickie engineers uh, came up with a fix told Winnebago about it and Winnebago did the fix and now the steps work like they're supposed to I guess we'll find out won't we Seemed to work just fine then. Went right in. So, there you have it. That's our new Forza. And uh, I imagine Litson's going to get busy on it. And we should be doing some paperwork. 
sign in some paperwork and stuff today and hopefully uh, Listen can get it in and out of their shop today for their pre-delivery inspection and get everything done to it's supposed to be done. We may not get it till tomorrow morning or we may get it late today. Don't know yet. But, uh, here we go. We sure are happy and proud of it, so that's it. <laughs>